So I want to show you one more thing that I'm having issues with. I'm going to log in as a manager for Dealer's Choice Inc. And uh, I'm going to go to the course page. And I'm going to select edit one of the courses that I've entered uh, under Office Procedures. This course is 104 called Hub Manager Part 2. Uh, I added this today, so it's 21st December 2009. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And what I want to be able to do right now is uh, edit some of the information uh, in the uh, in the text area. Uh, what would really be helpful is certainly if this uh, text area is a little larger because uh, it's kind of hard to make out what's going on in here. I mean, I can use a scroller to go up and down and sideways, but if it's a little more wider, that would definitely be helpful and to get a feel for what the email looks like. Um, anyhow, so uh, I've got the uh, fields that I copied from the email you sent me earlier on what the field should be like. So I've copied the first name field, last name field, required percentage score, and I've pasted all of that in here. So as you can see, I've got the first name field, last name, and I've got the title and so forth. Um, and let's say I wanted to uh, maybe bold this as, uh, and then update. If I click on update, it uh, does this every time I try to make an update to a course. So it goes to this uh, screen. Anyways, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but uh, I know it does save the changes. So let's uh, log in as one of the sub users. Um, to see whether we can print out that certificate with the changes that we've just made. Um, let's go down to testing, go and print the certificate. I don't have to take the test again. I'm just going to go print certificate, Hub Manager Part 2, Hub Manager Part 2, print certificate. And uh, here it is the pop up screen. That looks good. I can see the screen. I can see what it looks like. But as you can see, it's only got Dear Cosme. It doesn't have my first name in here. Everything else looks okay. This is to verify that you can take the test for Hub Manager Part 2 and attain a score of 100 out of required 100. Thank you for your participation. And I've got some other things, some image links in there that are showing up here. So the only thing I see missing right now is the uh, first name. And of course that issue where whenever you try to update, um, it throws an exception and goes to that screen. Now. So, all right, this is it. And I will upload this to a tutorial link. Uh, which would follow right after, oh, where did I, how did I get here? Right, let's go to this. I'm going to add this uh, to testing December 2. So you'll have testing December and then this the next tutorial right after that. All right, thanks.